I would like a public apology from Mr. Mark Gold. And I don't see why I should apologize because I haven't said anything that's worthy of an apology. Earlier this afternoon, we saw what appeared to be an unfortunate incident um, while you were marching into the house. Um, opposition members that apparently appear as if they were shunning you. Um, how, 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 how do you react to this? What I really want to say is that um, I've been verbally attacked by the opposition, opposition leader, Mark Wallin, <laughs> um, saying that someone must have sent me. Understand? Which I find it very much disheartening. Mm -hmm. You know, because as a member of parliament, mm -hmm. I'm entitled mm -hmm. to the march. And once you are not sitting on the government side, it means that you are sitting on the opposition side. Mm -hmm. So you have to march on the opposition side. Mm -hmm. Right? And uh, he was saying that someone must have sent me. But as a, a leader who wants to lead this country, it's very much, you know, it, it doesn't look good mm -hmm. to be verbally attacking a member of parliament in that manner. Also, um, I wish and, and hope that the ombudsman would have seen this um, going viral mm -hmm. and take quick action. Understand? Mm -hmm. so, Mr. Wright, did anyone in fact put you up to it? Did anyone do it? Put you up to it. Do put me up to what? Walking on that side according to the leader As I of the mentioned opposition. earlier, that once you are not sitting on the government side, mm -hmm. you, are, you have the right to walk on the opposition side. Mm -hmm. They have made him sit with the opposition, pretending he is no longer part of the government. He votes on every issue with the government. He speaks, whenever he speaks, he speaks in full support of the government. He's not part of the opposition. Today, he came down to where we were gathered, which is a traditional place where the opposition gathers, and sought to walk in our group up to parliament. And I said to him, you should not be walking with us. You are not part of our group. It is an insult and disrespect to us for you to be trying to do that. And that's what I said to him. And I said, send them send it to come to that because that is what I believe. I don't think he would just come and come into our group just like that. I didn't use any bad language. I didn't say anything abusive to him. And I don't see why I should apologize to him because I haven't said anything that's worthy of an apology. All right? Sorry? Where should he have walked? If he's maintaining he's independent, which is a farce and is a lie and is a deception because he's not, he should have walked independently of us. We're not, in, we are the opposition. Yes. He doesn't vote with the opposition. He's not part of the opposition. He votes with the government. He should really be up with them. That is the reality of the situation. The media, I'm very disappointed in the media that they don't point this out on a regular basis, that this farce and this deception is being practiced in the parliament when it comes to Mr. George Wright. Well, you're reporting on it extensively though, Mr. Wright. I don't think you have.